Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we have another very interesting and challenging question from Math Olympiads. We'll be solving this system of equations for the real values of x, y, and z. So let's get started by writing this is our equation 1. Here we will write equation 2 and this would be equation 3. Now I will begin with one algebraic identity x plus y plus z whole square formula. So this is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 times in the bracket xy plus yz plus zx. Now from equation number 2 we are going to put value 3 here. From equation number 1 this bracket value we will write 3. So I can write 3 square will be equal to 3 plus 2 times in the bracket xy plus yz plus zx. So 3 square is 9. We will take 3 to the LHS. So 9 minus 3 will be equal to 2 times xy plus yz plus zx. Now 9 minus 3 is 6. We will divide both sides by 2. So I can write 6 over 2 equal to xy plus yz plus zx. Or we can write our equation number 4 xy plus yz plus zx equal to 3. This is our equation 4. Now we are going to use another very very interesting identity from algebra. So I will write x cube plus y cube plus z cube. This is equal to x plus y plus z times x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx plus 3 times xyz. This is one algebraic identity. Here we are going to apply all the known equation values. So in LHS from equation 3, we can write this is equal to 3. Here from equation 1, we are going to write 3. Here from equation 2, we are going to write 3. And here from equation number 4, we are going to write minus of 3. So let us put all the values. We will write 3 equal to 3 times in the bracket 3 minus xy plus yz plus zx is our equation 4. So we will write value 3 plus 3 times xyz. So 3 minus 3 is 0. We will write 3 equal to 3 times 0 is 0 plus 3 xyz. Or we can write 3xyz equal to 3. Divide both sides by 3 to get the value of xyz. Value will be equal to 1. So we will write x times y times z equal to 1. And this equation we will call equation number 5. Now I will write 3 equations out of 5 equations. So first equation would be x plus y plus z. This is our equation number 1. Value is 3. Now we will write our second equation which is xy plus yz plus zx. This is our equation number 4. Value is 3 again. And third equation, we will write our equation 5x times y times z equal to 1. Now we can think about one cubic equation in variable t whose roots are x, y 
and z then we can write cubic as as we know this is sum of roots this is sum of roots taken two at a time and here we have equation for product of roots so we can write equation t cube minus sum of roots so i can write x plus y plus z times t square plus sum of roots taken two at a time so xy plus yz plus zx times t then minus product of roots so minus xyz equal to 0 now we will plug in x plus y plus z 3 xy plus yz plus zx 3 xyz 1 we will get cubic equation t cube minus 3t square plus 3t minus 1 equal to 0. Now we will rewrite our LHS t cube minus 1 and then we will write minus 3t square plus 3t equal to 0. Now 1 we can write 1 cube. Now we can apply a cube minus b cube formula here and we can take minus 3t common from these two. So I can write here t cube minus 1 cube as it is. Then I will write minus 3t here. In the bracket we have to write t minus 1 equal to 0. Now we can apply a cube minus b cube formula and we can write let me write here equation once t cube minus 1 cube minus 3 times t in the bracket t minus 1 equal to 0. Now we will apply a cube minus b cube formula and write t minus 1 in one bracket times t square plus t plus 1. Then we have minus 3t times t minus 1 equal to 0. Now we can take t minus 1 common out. So in other bracket we will write t square plus t plus 1 minus 3t equal to 0. Or we can write t minus 1 times t square t minus 3t is minus 2t plus 1 equal to 0 or we can write t minus 1 times this is t minus 1 whole square formula. So here we will write t minus 1 whole square equal to 0 or we can write t minus 1 whole cube equal to 0. So from here we will be getting 3 values of t 1 1 and 1 where roots of cubic equation are x, y, z. So we have x, y, z all three values 1. So I can write here multiplicity is 3. So we can write t equal to 1 or we can write x equal to 1, y equal to 1 and z equal to 1. So we can write only single ordered triplet x comma y comma z. This will be equal to 1 comma 1 comma 1. This is our final answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.